Yo guys, M here, and welcome to day four of my zombie drive. Look, I have to come up with names of some sort. Anyway, let's get on with the highlights. So when I left you last time, it was during the night, during the zombies, and in fact I got so bored waiting for zombies that I actually decided to sort out my food in the fridge. Uh, well, it seemed like a good place to have it all, so I was trying to put it all together. And I was also wandering around with my trusty and rather pathetic blunderbuss, rather hoping for a zombie to come along. Um, but they didn't. Disappointingly, yet again. So I decided to have a look at the map and plan out where I might go again. I might indeed go all the way back over there again to see if there are other buildings just over the river. It seemed quite an interesting area, so there might be more up there. And I didn't really explore completely in that area. Just like the previous nights, I became so bored waiting for zombies, I went out on the hunt with my trusty blunderbuss and wandered around trying to find some zombies. Is that one? Uh, no, that's some cactus. Um, oh, well, yeah. Uh, where are they? Wait, I can hear one. No, no, that's more cactus. Oh, well. Having almost died from complete boredom, I decided to go in and use the forge, and I decided that some new doors were necessary for my house, so using some of the forged iron, I made some new doors, and then set about the task of actually removing these two old, rather rickety doors, and actually putting up the brand new doors in their place, a little bit more secure, and a little bit more difficult for zombies to get through. After all, it won't be that long before it's actually day seven, where the big horde is supposed to turn up at night. So I ought to be ready. And after a rather disappointing night, the day had arrived. It was dawn once again, and obviously the zombie time was over for the night. So I decided where am I going to go next and plan my route of where I'm going to go and do some looting. So I ended up going north and finding some interesting trees because I do need more wood for spikes. However, at the time I did not realize that in the background there was a bear. Um, then I realised and decided to back off a little bit. I do have the blunderbuss, but at this time I had not realised how actually monumentally rubbish it was. And I was a little bit in two minds of whether it was good enough to take the bear or not. Um, I was also going to get some health ready just in case something went terribly, terribly wrong. However, I've read that these bears can be pretty ferocious, so I decided to back off and actually leave it be. But while still in the same area, I saw a zombie and thought, well, I've got my chance here. Let's try the blunderbuss, finally. Come on, zombie. Wait, it didn't even slow him down. Um, let's try it again. Come on, it's, it's got to work. This is a weapon. It must be better. Come on. No, um, he just looks a bit like he's got a bit of a headache. Um, let's, let's try it again for a third time. Come on, maybe a headshot would help here. No, well, um, it's, it's not really slowing him down, and he's three bullets in. Four sets of bullets, and it's, it's number four, and he's still up. Well, this is rather disappointing. Um, let's try for number five. Come on. This is not helping at all, and I realise then how monumentally rubbish this weapon actually is. And at the same time, I got attacked by a second zombie that came in from behind that I hadn't even noticed, and had to switch over to the basic weapons in order to try and deal with this, and also rather heal myself rather quickly. The club is much better in my mind than the blunderbuss. I mean, it might not be as good as some of the other weapons, but it certainly took him down. Yeah, um, I think the blunderbuss was a blunder. It really was. I stayed in this area to try and get some of this wood. I was hoping the bear might not pay attention. He's just over there on the other side and he didn't seem that bothered by me. Thankfully, so I thought it was my opportunity to quickly run in and try and get some of this wood. I really do need to make spikes as a defence around my house. And after collecting quite a bit of wood, I realised in this hole there actually appeared to be some kind of, well, structure down there. There's certainly some protection. Um, I wonder what's down there. Now, I had backed off a little bit just to avoid the bear, but then I decided to go back with my shovel and dig down and find out what might be down here. Some of it did collapse at the same time, which was a little bit disconcerting, but I decided to dig down and find out what was actually here, down in this hole. And I did stop a few times just to check on the location of the bear, because I didn't want this to creep up on me and pounce on my head. And unfortunately, when I dug down, I didn't have a light source, and I couldn't actually see anything at all down there in that cave. And rather than blunder around in the dark, I decided to take my loot back to my house. 
venturing out again, I thought I'd go and visit Bob at the trading place and find out if I could purchase anything now that I had some more tokens. We sell only the best merchandise. I'm sure you do, Bob. Um, however, it did appear that I couldn't actually buy that much. Oh dear, I need to loot a lot more tokens. Looting a little bit more, I found a schematic for an SMG. Oh yes, wow, I could actually make an SMG. I just needed all the bits and everything else that went with it. But at least I, in principle I could make a, a much better gun. Exploring some more and I actually found some tents. Yeah, and obviously I looted all the stuff. And after the blunderbuss blunder, well, the joke was coming, I have set you up for this. I decided to use the sledgehammer and see if this was any good instead of the club. And, well, a zombie did come along and I could actually give a good go with this and see if it actually helped. All in all, though, it, it didn't seem to be as great as I was hoping. It really didn't. Yeah, I mean, even though it's a big sledgehammer, it didn't seem to really help. And, well, now I'm also infected again. And as you can see from the map, I actually ranged quite a bit all over the place. As I was infected again, I needed to make some antibiotics and I needed some nitrate powder. And I know that this is in caves. So I actually went back to that hole in the ground and actually discovered that there was some inside. And with a trusty flashlight, I could actually see there were some crates here. So I set myself the task of actually opening these and finding out what goodies might be inside. And I was quite surprised by the things that I found. Most of the crates that I actually opened contain lots of gun parts, which are definitely going to come in handy. And with all my newfound loot, and the fact it was also becoming evening, I went back out of this hole and headed all the way back to my house with the goodies. And I really needed to stash these away before I got attacked by that bear. And through some other looting that day, I also found the schematic for the rocket launcher. Oh yeah, now that's definitely up my street. But that zombie attack had left me infected, so I needed to make some of these antibiotics, and I had now all the necessary ingredients. I just needed to make them, take them, and recover from the infection. And even though this is only day four, I've already had four deaths. Um, I hope I can slow this number down. But time was ticking, and the sun was beginning to set once more. Again, there might come another horde of zombies, well, maybe. I mean, we've not had a lot so far, but I needed to prepare my house quite a bit, and I decided to go for just one door with a lot of protection around it. In fact, I've built cobblestone blocks to the side where the other door was. So we've only got one door, and, well, I needed to protect the building quite nicely, so I didn't actually want them getting in through that way. And I'd also upgraded a lot of the interior parts as well, as you can see, with a lot of metal to try and stop them from getting in through various different windows and other holes. So I was ready for another night of zombie action. Well, I hope. Anyway, we'll have to see if they turn up. I mean, that's a big question. But I had lots of defences down and I was really waiting for some zombies. Oh, yes. But that's going to be the end of this day. We're going to move into day five. So thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Thank you.